Hey guys, I'm Amrat and welcome to another video on my channel and this video will be dedicated to tools I'm using. Uh, so if you want to get some sort of pack with uh, modding tools, you can either download it from uh, here from ModCraft. There is a tutorial section uh, from Steph. Here is uh, his tool pack in this tutorial. I will link that in the description. Uh, then uh, there is another much newer uh, tool pack by Aurena on MCNet. I will link uh, this uh, in uh, the video description as well. And then uh, here will be my tool pack. I will link that as well. So you can use any of them or you can mix them up whatever you like. Uh, I will just browse it now with you. So Amrat tools, those are tools which I have coded. Uh, some of them aren't really finished, some of them might be slightly bug or whatever. Some of them might not be really, uh, too useful and some of them might not have even source included. Uh, but hopefully you will find at least some of them useful. I will make dedicated tutorials about them later. CASC, uh, that's an uh, explorer for CASC system which is used on uh, Legion and Warlords of Draenor. So if you want to retroport any models, if you want to, you need to get them from uh, that client first and CASC explorer is what you need. So this is used for extracting data, or, well mainly for extracting data from uh, new game clients. DBC folder contains uh, blizz like DBCs, that's basically just a backup uh, folder where I keep all unchanged DBCs to have quick access to them. Then here is this old monuments DBC to CSV converter. Uh, it sort of works, I sometimes use it. Here's also some sort of CSV editor, again, not very good, but whatever. Lightmapper, quite a nice tool actually, can be used for uh, searching for lights in, uh, for light and uh, sky settings in Word. I will again show you how to use it in dedicated tutorial. Spell editor by Stoneherry, great tool for browsing and even modifying spells. Here is this uh, WDBX editor. That's a basically editor which can be used for all expansions and all uh, all types of DBC files. Should I say? Uh, a really great tool, a really multi platform tool basically. This is very old DBC editor. I don't even use it anymore. My DBC editor, another quite old editor, but quite reliable, quite sort of. Then here is this map folder, you can see ADT header here, which is for copying uh, ADTs and basically making a blank uh, new map from scratch. This is Futa, that can be used for many different things. Uh, this is ground effects, ground effects adder and fixer, those are used for applying ground effects on ADTs. Ground effects are those uh, spams of uh, grass and uh, rock models of those little models which are everywhere on ground. Nogit beta test, that's one of the newest versions of Nogit. Uh, it sh should be mentioned that it's still a beta version, so it isn't perfectly stable, it isn't really completely tested, some uh, features are completed there, so don't use it uh, if you are, if you don't uh, make backups basically make a lot of backups if you want to use this nugget this is quite old nugget as the l1.4 however it is uh, the last nugget which was released as sort of stable version this is rios zone measure that's basically uh, adt adder and gromi wdt together i have missed gromi wdt uh, that's a WDT editor. Again, tools which I will show you in dedicated tutorial. And WDT supplies are basically URL for modding on newer expansions mostly. Moving on to models, uh, I don't really use all these things. I have just downloaded them from Aster, but uh, definitely what I do use 
are those WMO plugins or that uh, plugin for the for Blender that's uh, for creating WMO models and for modifying them. A great tool. And then I use uh, this object to empty the script. Those other things can be useful, especially WMO editor and so on, but I don't really use them very often or at all. MPQ uh, contains fuck it up script, which sort of, sort of really uh, encrypts uh, MPQ pitches. And then here is MPQ editor I'm using. It's quite an old version, but reliable. I have never seen it corrupting any MPQ for Graft Orange King. Never, ever. This is uh, the newest version, which is probably for Mists of Pandaria. And I have seen uh, this version fucking up my MPQs multiple times, so I don't really recommend using it. In other section we can find we, you can find some scripts, uh, some templates and so on for a zero one zero editor. Here is Talis, very outdated tool, don't use it. There are only some tasks in for which in, in which Talis doesn't completely suck and nope. Not worth it. Uh, Wolf Machinima tool, quite, quite a nice tool which can modify the way uh, your scenery renders basically in World of Warcraft. So you can modify colors and camera uh, angles and distances and so on. Very nice tool. And then there is Wolf Model Viewer, very important tool for modding or exporting models and so on, for viewing models, for importing them into Nogate. Uh, here is quite an old version I am using because I found it very stable for Graft of Deutsch King. And here is a Legion version which can't be really used on uh, Graft of Deutsch King at all. It's really just for Legion, maybe for Draenor. Definitely not for, Le for uh, Lich King. And this is Mist of Pandaria version. Again, works sort of for Graft of Deutsch King, but I have seen it crashing far more often than this much older version. HXD uh, is uh, basically hex editor which isn't paid like uh, 010 but you can just reinstall 010 editor over and over to get repeatedly trial but so whatever who cares. Putty can be used for accessing uh, your uh, private server or your Linux server or whatever from distance remotely and xyz hack is just a hack for moving through walls and can be used for spawning and such things textures to modify textures you can either use blp photoshop plugin that's uh, the way blps should really be edited because that's the most clean way then there is this uh, bl hipster uh, that basically converts uh, blps to pngs so that's standard uh, image format and then uh, BLPs but, uh, but then PNGs back to BLPs. However, it does so in a little bit on a clean way. So I can't really recommend to, uh, using it. And I think that's pretty much it. So if you like my toolkit, feel free to download it. Just make sure that all tools in it are uh, up to date. Uh, you might need to update some, I try to keep them up to date, but it's not really always possible. So browse them, use any of them uh, you want, I will take a look uh, at them in separate uh, dedicated tutorials later. I hope this helps you out, and have a nice day guys, happy modding!